Hi, this is a video on the Tesla World Extra Long Selfie Stick. Now, this selfie stick is for your smartphone only, not for any action cameras, um, just for smartphones, because it has a smartphone holder placed on it. The stick is three meters in length when extended or 118, cent 118 inches, not centimeters, inches. Now, I bought this from Amazon for £26.99. There were no deals on it whatsoever. And even though it's in a plain box here, it is not an Amazon basic um, item. Now, basically, I won't go around the box because you get it in a plain box. And the only thing that you get on the, on the box here is basically a little um, instruction manual how to use the Bluetooth shutter on there um, to connect to your phone but the Bluetooth shutter is a standard Bluetooth shutter but I'll show you that so I'll take it out of the box so you can see what it's like now out of the box you get the actual selfie pole or selfie stick here and as you can see just by looking at it you know that it's very long you get the mount here which is a phone mount you get some tripod legs and you get a shutter button, which is a standard shutter button here with a holder to attach onto the selfie stick. Now the actual phone mount is to me a standard phone mount that you get on a selfie stick it's that kind of C shape we have um, rubber here and rubber at the top it is spring loaded at the top and on here on the actual mount itself as you can see we have a thumb screw which is at the moment on most of the selfie sticks that I've been reviewing this is one of the best ones at the moment because it's actually like a proper GoPro um, from screw and that makes you can orient take the phone in there at 120 so basically like so and you can do that now this mount does not hold your phone in a portrait it only holds your phone in landscape and I'll show you it only holds your phone like so in landscape in landscape mode if you need to do a portrait mode it's one of these ones that you'll have to turn the selfie stick yourself to get it into a oh, just gone blurred sorry just gone blurred come on you have to turn it like so just to get it into a portrait mode but otherwise it's standard shooting is in landscape mode now as you can see up here, I'm just about to get into focus, it tells you how to lock it. So this pole is one of these ones, it's not like the old fashioned car aerial, and I'll try to get it into focus if I can, which is so, I'll try and get into focus. Right, it's the old, it's not like the old car aerial, um, whereby you just pull it out and it uses friction to hold it in place. This one you have to, basically pull out and then twist to keep it in locked so if you want to keep it in locked in different sections you got to pull out and lock it like that and twist to lock it and up there what i tried to get in picture is a little diagram showing you which direction to lock it and unlock it now towards the base of the pole here we have the handle and we have the words top fit now considering that this is made by tesla tesla world i top fit may be the actual name of what they gave this particular um selfie stick so i don't think it's a separate company i think it's the name of the actual selfie stick now at the bottom here we have a mixture of two types of rubber believe it or not we have a kind of matte um, finished rubber which is the diamond parts and the stripes that make up the diamond is a very smooth rubber so there's two different types of rubber um, 
put together here to make the handle and the handle itself this bit here between that bit is no more than about four inches long you get a lanyard on the end here a wrist lanyard and you get a quarter inch thread here and now that is for the tripod legs now I'm gonna say this about the tripod legs which I'll show you next these are the tripod legs that you get with it the tripod legs only extend out each leg is four inches long it has a metal and plastic base so the actual surround here is metal and at the top is plastic we have a quarter inch thread here and the legs are made out of metal now I'm going to give you a warning with this if you're going to put this on a tripod on this tripod legs only do it for indoor use only because I did try to extend this um, outside with no phone on top and the wind blew it down now we've got a little bit of a breeze out here I would say probably about a three mile an hour breeze probably a bit more than that or a bit less than that and it blew it over with nothing on these legs are not suitable for outside use it's just for indoor use and also I'll step back a bit keep it in this position keep it in the closed position if you're going to put it on the legs so if you're going to put it on the tripod legs keep it in the closed position and just use it as a standard desktop or um, work surface or even on a chair just keep it in that position for indoor use because the more you extend this out even though your phone's at the top, the more the center of gravity is shifted on this, uh, this particular pole. And unless you put white counterweights on the bottom of this, which I have done a video on counterweights on long poles, if you want to put them outside. But basically, I would not use this, this tripod legs with this pole outside. I would not do it. Just use it on the indoor only. Now the shutter here is a standard shutter mount, it's just generic. As um, far as what I can tell, you do not, oh they do provide it, actually I'm absolutely like, they provide a battery in there but most companies when they provide a battery in their item they tend to put a piece of plastic in there. So uh, the battery is not being used, you know, it's not being um, exhausted. But this particular company has not put a piece of plastic in there. So be aware that you might have a short battery life with this remote when you first get it. So be prepared to buy a battery. So when you get it, look what battery it is, get yourself a new battery because they have not put a piece of plastic in that. And you do not know how long that has been sitting in its box in the warehouse. So that's, be thoughtful of that. You get a nice um, holder for the remote here and that simply clips into there and then that simply clips on the selfie stick like so. So it just clips on there so you've got a nice remote um, holder for your selfie stick. Now, if you can use, even though I stated at the beginning of this video that it's for um, phones, um, what I meant to say was it's, you get a standard phone mount, but you do not get a GoPro mount. So any of your GoPros, which have the standard case that came with your GoPro camera, could fit in this, because you can release this um, thumb screw here, take this apart, and you can fit a standard GoPro mount in there. Now if you've got anything like the DJI Action or, or any of the SJ cams or anything like that, obviously they have their proprietary GoPro mount, they will fit in here uh, no problem. Now if you've got a generic mount for your GoPro camera or any of the other cameras, be aware that the teeth spacing on them might be a bit thinner than this. So you have to really tighten this down or you might have to bring a rubber washer 
or get a rubber washer, sorry, and place a rubber washer between the gaps. Uh, you only need one rubber washer, just to place between the gaps, just to get this to tighten down. So just be aware of that, because the teeth on here, the spacing is quite a distance apart from each other. But I tried a standard GoPro cam uh, camera case, uh, which comes with a GoPro camera, obviously, and it fits uh, no problem. So just be aware with some of the generic ones on that. You might have to need a washer. Okay, I am outside in the garden now. And it was on one of these rarest days in October where it's actually cloudy but sunny, if you know what I mean. And there's no rain. Now, I'm going to extend this pole as far as it can go. Now, the first section is very, very thin. So beware of that. It is a very thin section. The second section ain't too bad. Third section's not too bad. The fourth section's not too bad and the fifth section's okay. Now, I am literally so far away from the camera and I still don't think the camera has picked up all of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video and put my camera back as further as, further back as possible just let you try and get all of this in now hopefully I've got that all in shot now this is what the pole looks like and I'm going on the basis that that's all in shot now this is what it looks like with your phone on here and as you can see it is a very very long pole now if you're using on this pole if you're using a 360 camera with a GoPro mount attached to it, which is basically, say, the One X in its uh, Venture case, because that has a GoPro end on the bottom of it, you will not see this pole. This pole will be hidden by the 360 camera. Um, uh, no problem. But if you're using an action camera or your phone, if you angle this phone, say, towards you here, yeah, you would see the pole obviously and you'll see the bend in this pole if you angle the camera and the same with an action camera so if you're going to use this pole i suggest you use it with the camera straight in line with the um, pole so you get straight shots and use it that way and then you will not see this pole but you will get fantastic footage using this pole with uh, with your phone camera or your um, action camera because it's quite long now be aware that because this is in sections here and the top section is the thinnest section there will be a bend from here so this is a bend here believe it or not there's a slight bend here but the rest of the other pole is quite straight because the sections are quite thick so be aware of that now there is a seam running both sides down this pole uh, to give it some strength a little bit of strength so they're uh, in it and some rigidity so that's all right now this pole is very very light um, it's lighter than the other three meter pole that i have got which is in black from another company and that's slightly heavier than this and this is quite light so be aware that if you've got a phone on here I've got the SE phone on here and that's a small phone but if you have a bigger phone on there remember the wind could catch that phone and you can be very aware that I would not hold this with one hand at the bottom I wouldn't hold it with one hand I'll hold it with two because the wind could catch that and that's it so be aware of that but this is the actual length and I hope I got all of it in view of the Tesla world extra long pole now this is my two pence worth of the tesla world extra long selfie stick um, for an extra long pole i would give this a six out of ten i would not place a camera a camera a smartphone on the top of this when it's fully extended i just wouldn't do it it's so off balance so off balance and the bend in it i i wouldn't do it, especially from the first two sections of this pole this to me is more suited for an action camera or a GoPro camera or a 360 camera in its um, case. 
So if you're having a 360 camera on top of this, make sure it's in its case when you place it on top of this thing because the case will have the GoPro mount on it. But I think it would be suited for things like that, um, cameras like that more than your smartphone. If you're gonna have your smartphone on this, I'd keep it at half the length. So I'd keep it at half the length if you're gonna have your smartphone on there. One, it will give it more of stability on there and less of a bend in it. And two, it'd be easier to um, hold at half a length because the smartphones, sorry about that, these smartphones um, are quite heavier than your action cameras, so be aware of that. But as for the build quality, out of, out of 10, I'd give it a six out of 10 for the build quality. It's not too bad, but it's very light, so um, be aware of that. Anyway, that is my two pence worth on that, and I'd say for an extra long pole, three meter pole, it is not too bad. Um, I have tested another one which I've got on my channel and look at that one, that one's in black and that one I'd say is for st um, stable wise and strength wise it's a bit better than this so I'd go for that one. Anyway, if you've got this pole or had this pole from Tesla World uh, please let us know in the comment section what you thought of it so we, so you know, what you thought of it um, and as I says, it's an all right poll. So thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you like the video or leave a thumbs down if you don't. Thanks for watching.